K Barn Becker BK2. This knife is an absolute beast. It's K Bar and Becker BK2. It's made of 1095 high carbon steel. It's a super thick blade and comes with a nice plastic sheath that snaps really nicely. This knife used to be around $50 years ago. And then the price kept going up. I eventually bought mine around $90. I recently checked Amazon and it was just over $100. It's definitely gone up in price, but a lot of stuff has gone up in price. I've checked the prices of multiple knives I've had and they've all gone up in price. For $50, this knife is a steal. But right now, from $90 to $100, it's still a really good knife. It is a knife, but it's really just a wedge of steel. I mean, look how thick that tang is. It's full tang, goes all the way down the knife. It's a quarter inch of steel. This knife is ridiculously thick. Super durable, but that also means it's heavy. You probably could never break it, no matter how hard you tried. But if you were to carry this around, it is pretty heavy. This is a Mora, which is a great knife for the price. And just to compare the tangs, look how much thicker it is. There's really no comparison. For a job like that, and a piece of wood as thick as that, you would definitely want an axe. But if all you had was this knife, then you would definitely be able to get through it.
working with this knife is really fun because you can really beat on it and you never have to worry about damaging it. Like I said, it's just a big chunk of steel. So don't be scared to really beat on it. It can really take it. It's such a great knife. Looking at the knife's edge, I don't see any chips or rolls. So it held up really well through all that tough work. It held up really well. It can really take a beating and you never have to worry about damaging it really. Cause like I said, look at that. It's a quarter inch of steel. It's really just a pry bar. It's a beast of a knife. To prove how much of a beast this knife really is, I'm gonna stand on it. I weigh about 190 right now, so let's see, 190 pounds on the knife. I could stand here all day. There we go. And it has a really nice heat treat on it, so it's not going to bend either. Uh, it would snap before it ended up bending, but with steel this thick, you're probably not going to have to worry about it. And it supports 190 pounds. Obviously, you just saw it. It could probably support more, but I only had a couple cheeseburgers yesterday, so we won't be able to tell for now. <laughs> well, we know it can handle some hard tasks. What about some finer stuff, like making some feather sticks? So you can definitely make some decent feather sticks. You know, it doesn't need to be anything fancy, but it does an okay job there. A trick I like to do to make some feather sticks is put the knife in some wood. Bang it down a little bit. And you can pull the wood on the knife. And you can really control the angle at which you come at it too. Especially with a big knife like this. Sometimes it's a little bit easier to control. As you can see, it works really well. And then you can just pull your knife out when you're done. The last thing I like to test is if it can scrape a fire steel. So I got some dryer lint here and a ferrocerium rod, and I'm gonna scrape with the fire steel. Now the knife, this knife comes with a coating on it on the back, so it might not, so it might not scrape really well right away, but once you get rid of a little of that coating and it's metal on metal, it'll be, it scrapes it a lot better. So let's see. As you can see, it's not really scraping well. I haven't really used this knife for uh, scraping a fire steel before, so let's do a little modification. I'm just gonna scrape it on this rock here, get rid of some, some of that coating. On the top of that, I've removed some of that coating, so it should be able to scrape a lot better now. Right, it was a little tough, a little rough, but it got going. As you can see there, we managed to uh, start the fire. Again, it's easy when you have a tinder like dryer lint, but we successfully used our feather sticks to start a fire here. Now it is a tool at the end of the day, so you wanna make sure you clean it up. This being carbon steel, it's known to rust a lot easier. So you definitely want to clean it after you use it. Something important to keep in mind is when you're cleaning your knife, 
be cautious of what you're using to clean it if you're gonna if you're gonna be using it for food you don't want to use anything toxic in that case maybe you can have a smaller knife for food prep or maybe instead of this you could bring a hatchet it's all on what you're planning to do really this is one of my favorite knives just because of how much of a beast it is it's super thick and can do anything you need it to do really except maybe chop down a big tree but again it's not an axe it's a knife and for being a knife it does stuff you wouldn't even think it would be able to do it's just such a cool knife it's a beast it's awesome thanks for watching like and subscribe if you enjoyed i'll see you next time